Hey all you zealots and zerglings, it's here is the final, game 7 of Mad Hive and Hagor vs. the world. I know you've been on the edge of your seats for games 1 through 6. We are currently uh, 2 of 6, and but won the last 2 and are on a roll, and so we are looking for uh, good things in game 7. The map is high orbit. I've spawned down here in the bottom corner here as the blue Zerg, and Hagor is right next to me as the red Terran. Our opponents are Will, the purple Terran, and Baum, Boom, Baum, whatever, however you pronounce that, the teal Terran. So another dual Terran. I don't like dual Terran. I don't like anything. I just don't like anything. It looks like Hagor's getting a pretty early scout in. Might be a little early to actually see what's going on, other than see what our opponents are. But, hey, I don't know. Oh, we're going to get into a little SCV battle here. And I think Hagor scored the first hit, so he is, looks like he is going to take out that SCV. Fantastic. Oh, and now he's going to go after this, this one that's dropping the first barracks. Oh, no. Now he's just going to attack the building. Nope, now he's got a hit on the SCV. Are they going to stop this? Oh, and another SCV goes down. Oh, this is just brutal. Oh, it looks like they're finally going to take him out. Oh, is he going to get away? Oh, he gets stuck in a corner, and finally his reign of terror is at an end. But that's actually pretty good economic damage. They've already taken two SCV losses, and we've only taken one. So, you know, any little bit helps. Now I... I think in this game we decided to do what we've been doing before, which is uh, Hydra Mech, which has been working really well for us. And this is another map I'm not really that familiar with. I got some more rocks here on my back door, and I think I've looked. And this is our mutual ramp, so that's nice. There is no other way into this base, so I've got to protect the back door, which is why I've got an overlord right here for that exact purpose. Looks like I'm still on... Still not doing much yet. Got my queen ready to come out. It looks like about the time she's done, I should have enough gas for my lair, which is what I want to get up going right away. So my queen's out. Not sure what I'm up to right now. There we go. Throwing down the, the uh, larva. But I got enough for the lair. Why am I not getting my... There we go. Whew, that was a little bit delay, more delay than I would like. It looks like we got Boom's gonna take the watchtower here. What are we producing? I'll put up the production tab. Nothing really exciting yet that I can see. We've got an engineering bay for Will. It's pretty early for that. And a bunker for Boom. It's a Boom Bunker! Well, they got a nice wall off here, and Hagar is working feverishly to finish our wall off. A little gap right there, it looks like, but that's okay. We can close that up. It's a nice choke point. And I'm commenting on how terrible it is to try to find an expo on this map, which is true. I mean, I, you got to break down these rocks to take the gold. You could go back here. we got to break down these rocks, which exposes your back door. And over here, where there's nice two bases, but it's so far away. So it's not a really good, great map for expanding. Oh, they look like I'm taking the watchtowers again. Always good to get that vision. And looks like my hydralisk den is finally on its way. I know it was it was a little it was a little heart wrenching there for a minute, a little little nerve wracking. But there's my hydralisk den, so don't worry, we're gonna have hydralisks soon. Everything will be okay. And Hagar wants to go air. It looks like. I think I saw... Uh... Oh, he accidentally put that out in the uh, main chat. I don't know if he did that on purpose or not. I'm not really sure what he thought he saw. So I'm a little confused if he had meant to do that just to throw them off or not. But he is throwing down an engineering base, so maybe, uh, maybe that's what he intended to do. Maybe he wanted to throw them off. No, it looks like he didn't intend to say that. And I'm glad, because I don't want him to go air. 
Why would you go air if there were turrets? That's exactly when you don't want to go air. So he's throwing down a... Looks like he's making a command center for expansion. Throwing down another factory so we can get that mech on. And he is producing tanks and getting siege mode. And I'm getting my range upgraded hydras ready. Oh, we do have siege mode researching here for Boom. And a factory here for Will. Oh, and a starport here for Boom. Not really sure what builds anyone is going here. Let's check the army tab. And it looks like... Looks like I have got the biggest armor right now with 37, with uh, Will just behind with 32. So it looks like... Well... It looks like I was considering a Nidus Worm. Because they have a nice wall going here, and I don't know. It's hard to go, you know, it's hard to go against a Terran wall. They walled us off, put a bunch of siege tanks back there, and it might be hard to get in. I do have this, uh, Overseer here. Oh. I do have a Changeling running around their base, so if I can check. Check what he's seen so far. Oh, and he did see the Fusion Core, so uh, that is now part of our vision. And I did see a starport with a tech lab, which is going to mean banshees, or, well, this fusion core indicates bottled cruisers. I don't think I've seen him yet. And Hagor is taking this expansion. I was kind of glad he took this expansion, because that later, I think, is going to free me up to take the expansion as well. I, yeah, there goes my drone to take my expansion. I felt much safer with him out here than with me just, you know, expanding all by myself. And I'm not sure if I've noticed this uh, fusion core yet, because my changeling is just kind of running around. And it looks like he's about run out of... And they don't even see it. <laughs> you gotta love it. They don't see the stray marine running around their base. Oh, and I did notice the fusion core. I did notice the fusion core now. Show back everyone's vision again. And so I think... Yep, there we go. There goes the spire, because I, if you guys have seen any of my vids, you know one thing, and one thing only. When I see battle cruisers, I laugh. <laughs> I'm going corruptors. Uh, I felt so good scouting that out. It's beautiful. And here comes... Oh, no, that's just a medevac. Interesting. Got a fusion core. He's not produced any battle cruisers yet. Doesn't have any in his army, does he? No, he does not. So that's kind of an early fusion core. I don't know. Looks like he's getting ready to expand too. Oh, and they do have the gold expansion. Which, you know, every time someone's taken the gold expansion, it's just triggered us off and we've taken them down. Is this going to prove true again? And wow, Will has got a lot producing right now. Siege mode, armor upgrade, marines, tank, viking, armory, command center. He is just going for everything right now. Oh, and it looks like my uh, spire is almost done. And what kind of army? We have finally moved our army. I wanted to get my army out here because if we got these expansions going, it'd be good to have an army that could move there quickly. But I do have the watchtower, so short of any sort of a uh, air air harass or a uh, medevac drop, our expansions will have plenty of warning to move out. But just keeping my uh, well, that's Hagor's SCV. So he's got a nice tank Thor wall here. We probably could move out. It would be a good idea. Oh, it looks like I had a bunch of excess minerals, so it's time to get out some Zerglings. I still have a ton of excess minerals. Check the army size. About 140 for us. 126 for our opponents. So we do have the food advantage. Income is going to go to Hagor, and everyone else is kind of the same, but Hagor has got the most right now, which means he must have the best saturation, or he's the only one that's got fully saturated second base. I've just started mine. Boom has just started his. Will's got the gold. He doesn't have hardly anything. He's only got two guys on the gold minerals, though. But if he saturates just this, then he's going to probably jump into the lead. Oh, 
And it looks like, oh, I think there might have been a pause there. There we were a couple of pauses in this game, and all that chat probably came out in the uh, pause mode. So we check production. I am getting corruptors out, and I'm getting an infestation pit just because I want to keep my uh, tech tree growing. And we do have battle cruisers coming out here for a boom. Does he have any? Does he have any out yet? He does not. He has a couple of ravens. But just now, after all, he's finally at Fusion Core so long ago, he's just now getting battle cruisers. Seems way late. I'm gonna be so over prepared for it. It's not even funny. And there are my corruptors, and they are more than enough for one. And they have gold. I spot the gold expansion. I might have sent. I think I might have sent someone out here to go scout, and he probably got slaughtered. Oh, looks like I've got three of the four watchtowers. Is why. So once again, we spot the gold, and it is time to go. We seem to be taking two different routes. Not necessarily a bad idea, but I think it's just the pathing. We'll probably meet up again later. Whoops, keep on moving, guys. Keep on moving. We don't want the Terran mech to go in there all alone. We're supposed to be kind of tanking for them in a way. Well, I don't know who's tanking for whom. But the battle has commenced. And that's a lot of Thors. And the siege tanks are going to siege up. And there's a bunch of Vikings for, I don't know what, maybe he really still thought we were going to go air, but these Vikings are worthless right now in the air. And it looks like this force is getting slaughtered, and now I'm going to move my Hydralisks into the mineral line. Oh, I think we did have a siege tank, but I think that's gone now. There's one back here. And he's got a Thor of his own, briefly, and there goes some more Vikings in the no good whatsoever, and these SCVs are gonna run home. Oh, because we took out their command center. Check the units lost tab, and oh, Will has taken a huge loss, and boom is right behind, but we have hardly taken any at all, which I'm kind of surprised. I mean, we do obviously have the superior force, but I would expect they would have taken we would have taken much more in harm than what they did. Oh, and here comes the battle cruiser. My corruptors are ready, and that battle cruiser is gone, and then they're gonna just snipe the medevacs just for kicks. <laughs> Another Viking. What does he get Vikings for? Vikings are worthless against this army. Absolutely worthless. Check production. Oh, and he's making another battle cruiser. It's going to be a bit delayed. And another Viking. Why is he getting Vikings? I don't. I don't understand this. This is absolutely not at all what he needs against this. Even even a Viking on the ground, which he's not landing them is not going to do anything against this army. And oh, we do have this siege tank now. This is probably. I don't know if these hydros are going. They need to go take out that. Yeah, now they see that tank. We need to take that out. That is not my friend. So I've probably taken a few more losses at this point. Actually, no. I'm still in first place when it comes to losses. And we check the APM. Oh, I'm not in first place in my APM. Oh, no. Yes, actually, yes, I am. I'm in first place again. This seems to be my typical APM. And <laughs> these SCVs are running away to this expansion, and most of them died. And another battle cruiser. Oh, it's gonna do a little bit number on hydro, so we'll pull them out and <laughs> the battle cruiser's just gonna run run from the corruptors. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just funny. And he's gonna make another battle cruiser. Yeah, because that's what they need right now. More battle cruisers. He's better better off with banshees at least. And it looks like Will his base is just done. I mean he's got this expansion, but. Oh, no, he's not going to have that expansion much longer because Hagar had the foresight to send a couple of Thors up there. I don't know whose comp staff that is, though. So, it looks like, uh, looks like Will is done for. I don't know what our forces are doing. Very little. I think my corruptors are going to go spy to see if there's any more battle cruisers to take care of. Oh, and they're going to throw a corruption on that siege tank because, hey, why not? And Will's bases are destroyed. And Will is effectively out of this. Oh, and there's another battle cruiser. Where are my corruptors? Oh, they probably don't see the battle cruiser yet. In comes the battle cruiser. Oh, oh, and Will's gonna GG, and Boom's gonna GG, and I'm gonna GG. Everyone's GGing, and they are gonna leave the game. I'm not sure why Hagar left the game. I don't know. If I guess I guess everyone else had a, had left the game. So there we go. Finish it off on a nice three-game win streak using the Hydra Mech. So I hope you enjoyed this series. 
it was a pretty marathon session for us too we just couldn't stop we just kept going so i hope you enjoyed the game i hope you enjoyed the series and have a day